So yesterday I had like the most picturesque day. I went to a local coffee shop in the West Village and worked on my script, which was just like so fun. Just sitting down writing in like the coziest atmosphere you could possibly imagine. But today I want to start off by sharing with you one of my favorite beauty brands. They actually gifted me these products and they told me you can post about them if you want. You don't have to. Just try out our products. And I am so glad I had them send me these products because they're my new favorite beauty brand like ever. So the brand's whole philosophy is minimalist makeup which I really really love because I think day to day less is more. Honestly I just don't have like time or patience or really a want to put on a ton of makeup and their products are absolutely my favorite. They're so versatile and so easy to apply and don't break me out. They're just absolutely amazing. So the first product that I use is their eyebrow gel. This blonde eyebrow gel is just like the perfect color, keeps my brows in place, literally takes two seconds, makes my brows go from like meh to like great in like less than 30 seconds. It's absolutely spectacular. So what made me actually want to sit down and share this video with you is their blushes. They're my absolute favorite. They're this creamy texture that makes it so easy to apply and they look so natural. It looks like you've just been out in the cold. I have one in the shade Beverly Hills. It's the most flattering pink color you could possibly imagine. I actually also add it to my lids as like an eyeshadow when I'm feeling kind of lazy and don't want to add another product, but highly recommend checking out their blushes. If you're going to check out any of their products, definitely check out the blush. It's my, it's just the best. Going along with that, their highlighter is also amazing. Again, it's really creamy and soft and it makes the skin look like wet, not sparkly, which I love. Like, I don't love highlighters because I feel like a lot of times they just look like fake and not real and this like literally just looks like that perfect gloss. It's chef's kiss. It's like just spectacular. I also love their mascara. It's really easy to apply, but it's also really easy to take off, which I really appreciate because I just have no, no patience taking off mascara at night. I just, I don't know what it is, but I just can't stand it. And their final product that I love is their lip glosses. They're actually, I think, called lip oils. And this is like my favorite kind of lipstick for fall and winter just because they're so moisturizing and I have really, really dry lips. My lips get chapped like nobody's business. And this is a great way to add color without drying out your lips. And the colors that they have are absolutely amazing. They have this really dark brown one that I wanna get next time. But that's just kind of my simple day-to-day go-to makeup look. If you want to check out any of these products, the link will be in my description down below. Honestly, I really, really love them. Please check out their blushes. They're phenomenal. I think you would love them, so definitely check them out. just got back from the grocery store if you can hear construction they're doing construction on my roof so it's literally such a mess I it's been so loud all day long the people's dogs in my apartment building are like barking at them because they're being so loud but that's besides the point but I just got back from the grocery store because I'm gonna make a really yummy pasta either tonight or tomorrow night depending on how I feel later <laughs> but I want to share that I finally found this Chobani oat milk and it's the plain extra creamy one. My sister had this when I was in Chicago and she put it in her coffees and they it's the best. It's so good. It actually might be better than the silk almond milk creamer. It's like a little less sugary, um, but it's good. It just has like a hint of sweetness in it, but it's so creamy and I haven't been able to find it here in New York, but today I found it, which is really 
awesome and I'm thrilled. It's all about the little things in life. But anyway, I need to go and take Randall on a walk and also he ran out of dog food. So I need to bring him into the pet store, which he will be thrilled with. So I'm going to put away my groceries and then I'm going to head to the dog store with Randall. So it is a while later and I am having Thomas over so I'm gonna make us some dinner. I'm making a pasta dish and we also have some wine. It's gonna be a fun evening. I'm excited. I haven't made this recipe before but I figured I'd bring you guys along. Hopefully it turns out well. My sister actually made it for us when I was in Chicago and it was so good so I figured I'd replicate it. She sent me the recipe. Although I didn't get cream, I just got oat milk, so hopefully that's fine. I don't know. We'll find out. So let's uh, let's do some cooking. <laughs> Today is Wednesday. No, that's a lie. Today is Thursday. I think I need to go back to the knitting store. Well, I know I need to go back to the knitting store and I'm finally kind of in the mood to do it. I'm working on the sleeves of my sweater and I think I like dropped a stitch or something. Like I don't, things look wonky, but now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look that wonky. So where, wait a minute. Oh yeah, here. See, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it looks kind of wonky. I think that's what I, it was. I think. Yeah, there's something weird going on over here. So I, instead of just like continuing and leaving a hole in my sweater, I have decided to do the responsible thing and go back to the knitting store, which has been on my to-do list for a minute now. I haven't knit in like literally a week because I need to go back to the store to fix this, which is kind of annoying but it'll be worth it. This sweater is taking years to accomplish. I don't even know when I started this sweater. October? Was it October? I feel like I've been working on this for at least three months, but I guess maybe it's been only two. I don't know. But anyway, I need to go back and I need to get help with this and then hopefully finish this sleeve and then do the other sleeve and then I think it's done. It just has to be like constructed together, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I figured I'd bring you guys along to go to West Village Knit and Needle. If you're in the New York City area and you wanna learn how to knit, highly recommend them. They're the best. They're so nice. Like their customer service is amazing. They're just so sweet and so supportive and like helpful finding projects and helping you with like help and all that good stuff. So they're just like the best, but I need to go back. It's just a hassle to walk all the way there. It's not even that far of a walk. It just is like annoying, but I finally have time and I need to do it before I help one of my friends with her self tape later today, but I procrastinate so much. Sometimes I just sit down and I like film and I'm like, I don't even want to get up and leave, but I need to get up and go. So let's do that. go-to here so this morning well like not really this morning I guess around like noon I went and got drinks with Megan <laughs> which is really fun at a bar and then I went to work and now I am back um, and now I'm gonna go get dinner with my friend Thomas and his boyfriend Reed 
Um, we're gonna go get drinks, I think, first, and then hit up dinner. I can't remember the name of the restaurant, but it's an Italian restaurant. I'll include it later, but I figured I'd quickly show you guys what I am wearing before I head out. I'm wearing this blazer from Zara. I'm just kind of wearing it as a shirt. It's really cute, it's really good. Shoulder pads, I'm wearing my trusty IMG leather pants. I'm gonna wear my Prada loafers. And then I have these really cute cross earrings. And then, I'm obviously gonna wear my sparkly bag. I like didn't think I was gonna be able to go out today, but my boss let me go early, so I'm really excited. And I'm just quickly running to get everything together before we head to a late dinner and drink. So let's hit the town, ladies, let's do it. So. just so great having like all of my best friends in like the same room like it's just really fun having Megan here because I have like my home friend here like it's weird it's just really fun and cool and I don't know I just feel like this is such a fun time in life and I'm trying to just like be thankful for every little memory that I'm making just because I don't know I feel like things are gonna change soon I don't know I have this weird sense that things are gonna change and maybe for the better, but I feel like I should just be like really appreciative of the time of life that I'm in right now. And yeah, and last night was just fun. I had like, you know, some of my best friends in the same room, which just like doesn't happen every day. I'm just so lucky that I have so many amazing friends and I live in this amazing city and I'm just like really, really happy in like the most cliche way possible. Um, but anyway, it's Sunday. I had a slow start to the day. I, I got up at like 10.30, which is really late for me. I haven't been sleeping very well, but it, that is what it is. But I think I'm gonna head back to the cafe that I went to actually in the beginning of this vlog. I really want a panini. I really want a goat cheese panini. The last time I went, they ran out of goat cheese. So I'm hoping that they, they have it. I had to get the tomato mozzarella one last time, which was also just amazing. Um, but I think I'm gonna go and I think I'm gonna bring my book. I wanna start Little Women. Hopefully they have seating. They really only have like a couple places you can sit in this cafe, but hopefully if I go and wait, maybe there'll be seating for me. So I think I'm gonna go do that. If you live in New York City, I highly recommend checking out this cafe. It's like just so cute and it's in a really nice neighborhood. So I think I'm gonna do that and just like enjoy a little bit of my Sunday. And then I have to probably come back and walk Randall and do some other things, but that'll be kind of the start of the day. So we're going back to the same coffee shop. <laughs> Creature of habit. Don't feel anxious, don't feel shame. If there's a question, it can't wait another day. Don't feel like it's all in vain. I try to remember it ain't a race Breathe out It doesn't matter anyway Breathe in It's about happiness in the end Take it slow, watch the road Stop driving myself insane the End of the day You got me
outside in the fall in West Village at a little cafe drinking an amazing oat milk ice latte and eating a sandwich or a panini rather. There's just no, there's no better feeling. That was such a good move on my part. I was debating whether I should just do that or just stay home and I'm really glad I went out and did that. But now it's time to walk Mr. Randy Pandy. So I think I'm gonna head to Washington Square Park and let him play in the dog park just because yesterday I was gone a lot and he had a long walk, but he deserves to have some, some time with his friends. So I've decided that I am going to have a chill evening. I feel like I always have chill evenings. I'm so boring. But anyway, I've really decided I just downloaded HBO for the first time and I've heard from everyone and their mother to watch Succession. I've heard it from the most random people who I'm friends with, like all of them who have told me to watch the show are all people who I never would have pinned on liking the same show, if that makes any sense. So I'm very curious. I don't know literally anything about the show at all. I don't know what it's about. Like all I see is like ads with people in suits, but like, are they lawyers? Literally, I have no idea. But I think I'm going to start watching it. I'm gonna knit while I watch the show. Hopefully finish my sleeve. And I think I might order sushi. I like couldn't decide what I wanted for dinner. I was like, I really don't need any more. I mean, I know sushi has rice in it, but I literally don't need any more bread. Like I can't, I've been so bread out the past few days. Like it's unreal. All I've eaten is bread. I've had so many bagels, sandwiches, pasta, toast. Like you name it, I've had it. Oh wait. Oh, but <laughs> I was like, wait, let me save money. I have like a frozen pasta dish thing from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx from Trader Joe's, but that would just be more bread. I need to like stop. Like I've had so much pasta and bagels and toast the past few days, I gotta relax. So I think I'm gonna order sushi. Get some veggies in me a little bit. Maybe get a salad to start with. So I think I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be my goal. Let me order sushi right now. Hi, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Got the goods. I got a salad and then I got peanut avocado roll, avocado cucumber, and sweet potato tempura. And then I'm gonna make some sriracha mayo for all of this. And that's going to be my dinner. It smells so good. My go-to place is Soho Sushi. There's also, if you live uptown, there's actually the best sushi, sushi place called Sushi Ren. Absolutely adore that place. Highly recommend that. If you live uptown or you can order from there, do that. I am like out of their delivery zone, so they won't deliver to me, but that's my favorite sushi place, followed by Soho Sushi for like easy takeout sushi, just in case you live in your city. But I'm gonna eat this. So I just finished the first episode of Succession and I kind of was like, where is this going? And by the end of the episode, you're like, oh, got it, got it kind of interesting I don't know how I feel about it but um, I think it, I don't know I'm gonna keep watching it but 
I think I'm gonna end the vlog here just because it's Sunday night and Mondays I start new vlogs. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.